Welcome design students. In this video I'm going to show you how to create what's called a composite texture for the outhouse of my fantasy house that I created in Maya. And if you look here in Maya you will see that here is the outhouse itself. I have not extruded a door uh, or anything like that. I'm just going to use a picture of a door to sort of give the illusion that there is a door there. And that is called creating a composite texture. So I have here the UV template that I have already unwrapped and exported. I have a plank texture. I have some roofing materials. I have a door. And I have this crescent moon that I'm going to attempt to use to create a cutout in the wall, sort of like a vent. So let's get started. I'm going to start by opening the planks and hitting Command A to select all and then Command C to cut or copy. And on a PC those are contr Control a or Control C. Then I'm going to paste it in here. Then I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Rotate 90 degrees. And I forgot to copy my background layer. And I'm going to need to transform this a little bit. I'm going to duplicate the layer because I want one on the other side. And then we'll duplicate the layer one more time because we're going to need one from the front. And I'm just going to put that one up here for now. Go ahead and select this layer and use the polygonal lasso tool to clean it up. And then we'll take this layer and put it right here, transform it a little bit. And I'm going to make sure that this layer is on the bottom below these other two layers so that it doesn't overlap what I tried to do there. Now I'm going to put this door on there. So I'm going to go to the door uh, picture and I'm going to have to make a selection here of the door frame. So I'm going to try to use the polygonal lasso tool and I'm just going to go like so. C to copy, Command V to paste, and then Command T to transform. And I'll just put that right there and make it a little bigger. Don't want it to hang off the bottom there too much. I'm going to go ahead and export this so I can see what it looks like. Create my background layer. Sample color. And fill it. And export. Now back here in Maya, I'm going to select the outhouse, select the material that I've already applied to it. Notice I've named it outhouse. 
That'll be important for when we bring it into the game engine. Go ahead and apply the 2D texture. And that looks pretty darn good. And that's how you create, and you can see clearly that it's not a door, but it looks good when you look at it from head on. Um, the only other thing I might do is color match this a little bit so it looked a little older. And I could add what's called some grunge to it, but I won't go into that just yet. And I'm going to attempt this uh, half moon cutout. I'm not going to make you watch the whole process there because I've got to figure it out. But what I'm going to do is do it and then come back to you and explain to you how I did it, if I can do it. So back in Photoshop here, I have, um, I'm going to select these three wall layers here, these layers, and I'm going to merge them. And then I'm going to color match them. Now color matching involves making um, the different photos look like they belong together. So these pieces of wood are much brighter and more saturated and um, more, it looks like, green than this door. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, uh, Curves. And I'm first going to maybe darken them up just a hair by dragging, dragging that down and see what that does. See, it looks like I missed something. So I had merged the wrong three layers. I merged my door, so I just had to fix that. I, I pressed Command Z and um, then just redid it. So let's go back to curves. Like I said, I'll darken those up a little bit. Mm, it's still on the wrong layer. Okay, so back to curves. Darken those up a little bit. I'm going to dial down the green. Dial down the red. There you go. And then I think I'm going to um, check the saturation, see if I can just sort of desaturate them a little bit and lighten them up. And so now they look a little bit more like they belong with the door. And that's color matching. So here you can see um, that I did, I was able to do kind of a cutout, a half moon cutout for the outhouse. Um, the way I did that was I used this here, this little picture here, I pasted it in here, and I used it to make a selection, like so. I used color range. So I used it to make a selection, and then I had to delete these extra bits from my selection. Once I had a selection, I then copied, I selected this layer, and I turned this half moon layer off, and then I made a selection, and then, just to show you, I selected the wall layer and I hit command C command V I now have a copy of that wall and I just added layer styles to it and I added bevel and emboss like so and then what I did was I made the selection again scaled it down a little bit made a new layer and filled that with black I can show you what that looks like. That's the shadow. I just filled it with black. And I adjusted the opacity down a little bit so it didn't look quite so black. And that is how I did the half moon cutout. And if you did the barrel project with me, then you know how to do this. It's exactly the same way that we made the hole in the top of the barrel. And that is how you create a composite texture to give the illusion of doors and windows and other structures that are not part of the geometry of your object. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.